Welcome, Dr. Here. Recently, Copilot added two very important features memory and custom instructions. It's going to transform the way you use Copilot. But before we understand these features, let's do a simple prompt. I'm asking Copilot to analyze this presentation. Here is the presentation. Few slides on Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. If you want, you can also download this presentation. Link is in the description. You can try this prompt yourself. Now, this is how Copilot responds. We know all that. Now, let's explore memory and custom instructions. Now, what is that? I go to these three dots, top right corner, more options, and then go to settings. The idea is Copilot knows about your data, I understand, but it still doesn't know who you are. What is your expertise? What are your priorities? What are your goals, ambitions? And if Copilot knows all that, it can give you better, more relevant answers. But now let's go to system instructions or custom instructions. Here I have put my intro. You can create your own intro, give all the details about your life and put it there. But in addition, I have also given some instructions which are not about my intro, but this is how I want Copilot to behave and respond. First thing, very important, I keep telling in my workshops is Copilot is an assistant. It tries to work on the information you have given and tries to answer. But sometimes we don't provide all the information. Then Copilot won't ask you those questions. So we are asking Copilot to ask you questions if you have given incomplete info. A very important prompt. But instead of copy pasting it every time, now it's a part of custom instructions. Sometimes it hallucinates. All AI hallucinates. We want to minimize that. So if it doesn't know, just say so, it's okay. And sometimes I want Copilot to imagine, then I will explicitly say so. So you're keeping both options open. Sometimes the responses are very long, which is great, but I want a quick summary in the beginning. So if I know from the summary that this is not relevant, I can modify the prompt quickly. Give precise, concise answers. Yes, very often tables are more appropriate. I am always trying to apply the technology, not just technology for technology's sake. So give use cases, even if I have not asked for, give some use cases so I can use them in educating customers. And then last one is also important. As you know, I am always creating lots of videos and the purpose is to educate people. So even if I asked a prompt, I got the answer, there may be an idea which I can use to create another video. So rather than me thinking about it all the time, why not ask Copilot to do it for me? So now this is the prompt. I'm going to enable custom instructions. So now onwards, whatever prompt I give to Copilot, it's going to use all this information to answer. So let's see what happens. I have enabled instructions. Let's go to a new chat and ask it to do the same analysis. Exactly the same prompt, but with custom instructions. So now it is giving me details. Yes, it's giving me content breakdown. Earlier it didn't come as a table. It just came as a description. Now it's a table. Further, look at what it is doing. Observations and recommendations. Because it knows I do training, I do workshops, I create visuals. and then. Is giving me areas of improvement. It's also giving me suggested topics for my YouTube channel. And now, because it knows I do workshops, it's giving me options. Do you want this to be converted to a workshop outline or do you want to create a script? So that's how the custom prompt is going to help me in getting better results from Copilot. Custom prompt has to be put once and may be modified whenever there is a change in priorities. But it is active all the time. Now let's give a completely different prompt and see whether it is working as per my custom instructions. So as expected, it is giving it to me as a table. Going further is giving me use cases where I can use this version history. It's also giving me video topics. The next thing is memory, which is equally important. So let's go to settings again. Custom instructions, as I said, are put once and change periodically. Whereas memory is something it will gather 
while you are working on copilot as an example i have put couple of memory items somewhere i have said i prefer that acronym should be explained it remembers that now now user prefers images in landscape because usually i want them for powerpoint or youtube both of which require landscape 16 by 9 and i also want emoji but nowadays emojis are just inserted anywhere no only when they add value so these memory items it has automatically picked up while i was interacting with copilot but how do i create memory items let's see i am in a new chat and very often i am asking questions like how to do this how to do that and it does come as a bulleted list but usually i want step by step instructions so whenever i want copilot to create a memory item i use the word prefer or remember so i'm going to say remember now this is not really a prompt i am just asking it to remember it for future so when i press enter see what happens it says memory updated and it reassures you that yes i will make sure i will follow this next time onwards what does this say when you hover there means take the mouse cursor there it tells you what it has remembered and if i click on manage memories it will go to that dialog and it'll actually show you this and this has been added here let us test this in a new chat so remember what it is doing it's acting on custom instructions as well as memory items so what was our custom instruction one of it was give me a summary in the beginning which it is doing now it is giving me step by step i had also asked it to use tables wherever required it's doing that as well it found internal resources recommended videos and it's also giving me ideas for creating videos as a result so that's how as you start using these features more and more your output of copilot becomes more relevant more impactful and more useful an important thing to remember is these settings once created are going to be applied for every prompt you give now sometimes you may not want that that's why for custom instructions as well as for memory items you can switch them off now if i give a prompt these are not going to be applied when i create a new prompt that setting is still off so i have to also remember to switch it on when the job is done i am currently using the work version of copilot but the same feature is now available in free version as well so i hope you found this useful try it out share this with as many people as you can and to continue learning more subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon and like this video so that's it for now see you soon thank you